So now that the firmware is updated on the printer, I'm going to want to test to make sure that the end stop is being read correctly. The easiest way to do this is download a program called Pronterface. And if you search Pronterface in our help center, you can see under the downloads here, we have a link to download Pronterface. So go ahead and download that. We're going to go ahead and extract that to a folder on our computer and then go ahead and load the Pronterface.exe file. So we want to go ahead and select our COM port for the printer and the baud rate. Most printers use the one 15k baud rate some printers use the 250k most Creality printers unless you've changed the baud rate in the firmware will use the 115k so I'm going to go ahead and hit connect and you'll see the printer will come online and we're going to want to reset the EEPROM before we go any further you can do this by sending M502 and hitting enter and you'll see hard coded default settings loaded and then we're going to want to send an M500 to store those settings. So now the EEPROM is fresh and clean and we don't have to worry about any old settings causing issues. So now we can go ahead and test the end stop. So if I send M119, you will see it's giving me an end stop report and we can see the Z is showing triggered because the LED on my sensor is lighting up red. So if I go ahead and move my Z up 10, that's going to make the sensor not be triggered. And if I hit send again, you'll see it's now reporting open. If for some reason you're not getting triggered when the sensor light is red and open when the sensor red light is off, then you need to flip that little switch on the EZABL control board. But in this case, my printer is reporting the state correctly. And I can go ahead and at this point do a G28, which will tell the printer to home X, Y, and Z, and you'll see it's going to home X and Y, and then it's going to use the sensor to home Z. Now I can also send a G29 to the printer, and this will go ahead and have it generate the auto bed leveling mesh. So it'll go ahead and by default take a three by three grid giving us nine points total. And this is fine for 99% of your printers. If you have a bed that's bigger than 350 by 350, you can change in the firmware the easy ABL point setting from a three to a five and get a five by five grid. But for most machines, even on the bigger beds, a three by three is perfectly fine. So we can see there, it successfully completed its probing and we can also do this from the printer LCD. If we press the LCD button, go to motion and then auto home, it will go ahead and do a G28 and you can see the printer off to the side there homing. That does the same thing as sending a G28 from Pronterface. If we want to do a G29, we can go to motion and scroll down and hit level bed and this will do a G28 and then a G29 automatically. You can see the printer is executing that right now. And that's all there is to it. Our probe is working correctly. It's talking to our printer's control board and the firmware now.